Well, this one's going to be simple. S-H-T, I mean, Urban Dictionary, it's just shit. Like shit. All right, so let's find out what this is. Shit. Tell me what this is. Shit. Oh, it, it already happened. Okay. Uh, Virgo energy, but this could also be an investigator. This is shining the light on shit, too. Like, peekaboo, I see you type of shit, Nick. Shit. Okay. I feel like this is also the fact that you'll stay to yourself and you won't allow yourself to be breadcrumbed. All right. This is my breadcrumb card and this is my isolation. Like, I'm cool. So I'm solid. I, I, I won't. Unless I get this is eat balance, equal, give and take. Unless I get this, I stay by myself. You know, and that could be, that's like shit, you know, because why, what for, why, why, why are people saying shit because of that? Because you're happier this way. I think there's a lot of people that, that don't recognize or understand that someone could be happy by themselves. There's so many people codependent on a relationship, uh, money. I don't know. It just feels Maybe it's just easier for introverts because um, we thrive by ourselves. It's just natural. All right. So now what? So now it's like, I'm happy, right? And now what? And then there comes that narcissist, that king of swords shit. But, you know, and then so what? what's up with this cat? That's like a narcissist, someone that likes to have control, and then they're stressed out. So what is it? You know, I mean, I guess what, what's happening here is, I thought this person would, would be a mess without me. I mean, you could, for somebody, you could have left somebody or broke up with somebody and said, I just want to be by myself for a little while. And your husband or your boyfriend or something like that is acting like they're okay with it, but they're really not. Like when you're not around, they're like this. All right. So it's, it's your intention, right? What's your intention? Somebody saying, Nick, what's your intention? You know, be careful of people where like, what is the point of what you're doing? And, and, and why would I even engage in this shit, all right? But for somebody else, that's what they care about. That's why they're solo. What is your intention with me? Is your intention to like fuck me and then, and then, and then bang, on, right? If that's your intention, I'm by myself. What is your intention? Is it to lie and manipulate me? Well, if that's the case, like someone can feel intention. It shows. Eventually it shows. It's gonna cost you. At what cost, they're saying? Like, at, it, it, I don't know. It feels like, is it worth it? Right? Yeah. Companion. Hmm? Some, somebody is their own companion. I'm telling you, when if you can get to the point where you can be by yourself and be your own best friend, it changes your life. Betrayal by misusing confidence is loss of personal identity. I don't know. Somebody, Somebody's intentions could possibly be to try to ruin someone's reputation. Again, cling cling that someone's not clingy okay so so this dude or these types of dudes are used to clingy hee, and hanging and and somebody else isn't like that you know what i mean it's like why would i cling on you because i i know and deep down you guys can't stand that shit you think that you like it because you talk about how clingy this one is and that one is so then the universe sends you someone who's not clingy um don't gaze is someone gazing into someone else's eyes to cast a spell don't let someone gaze into your eyes. You'd be real surprised the shit that these fucking spellcasters can do. All right? Don't let somebody stare at you in your eyes. They're casting a spell. Um, they're, they're, they could be doing that to make you clingy to the wrong people. That's what they're doing. Somebody's looking at you in your eyes, and they're, they're, say, they're, they're saying something. They're, they're mentally manipulating something. I'm telling you, you can laugh if you want to, but you'll see this happen, and you'll wind up being clingy to, like, prostitutes and crack addicts and stuff like that you were told in the beginning again this comes out to isolate this is my stay to yourself card okay because there's people who are going to want to get even with you because you're fucking happy or you want you want something different and then once again boom you know what i mean this is consequence there's consequence that comes with this shit and what's the consequence what's the consequence Loss. I knew it. They lost somebody. A possibly a tarot reader. But this is a lost opportunity. They missed an opportunity because of this. Liam. Straightforward. So uh, that's another thing. All right. A lot of these like guys that like to have control. They don't want somebody who's straight up. You don't want to hear the truth. 
You want somebody that's going to tickle your ear. And this is why a lot of you guys can't heal from shit that you've been hurt for before. Because you don't have somebody that triggers you. Somebody's supposed to trigger you into healing some shit. Because everybody needs it as much as you men don't believe that you do. You do. Okay? Whether it's mom stuff, girlfriends, sisters, aunts, fathers even. Shit. Alright, so somebody already fucked up. All right. So now what? Somebody won't clean. Like there's, you have, you, you don't have to necessarily work for the other one. You have to work on yourself to to be able to naturally attract that other one. All okay, right. So my enemies always receive bad karma. No one likes my enemies. These are enemies of yours doing this behind the scenes, sending people or setting this up or whatever this is. Your 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 friends that are disguised as enemies. Your enemies are disguised as friends. That's what it is. Are behind this shit. These are people you call friends. Right? How many of us have them? Wanted to starve you. And then they clap. Right? Yay! We fucked that one up. And then you were like, nope. No, you didn't. Alright? Um, maybe that one. Right? That one. If something is faded, you can't fuck with that. I've seen people be brought back to life here multiple times because something was faded it's, something is faded between a, a two people there's nothing that's going to fuck with that um tell me who they wanted to starve tell me who they wanted to starve tell me about this wanted to starve you oh god one what what is this they were gonna oh possibly they were gonna try and get you to leave like, come on, we'll go do this. Yeah. Let me stare into your eyes. And I mean, can you tell this is, is this a, a female? My teeth are so fucking numb. God, it's just something, it's like every time, this, a teen, it's a fucking teenager. So they're an underage teenage boy. They're, they're a teenage boy. How do you guys fall for this every time? I wonder. I'm telling you, maybe they need. Maybe there's a, a something in the DNA of, like gay. You know, like I. It seems maybe that's just maybe that's it. You know, maybe maybe it's not supposed to happen. Maybe someone is destined to be with another man. Um. So they were going to take you, right? Like, come on, let's go do this here. You can put it here and do this. And, and somebody's sex addiction or that, that toxic side of them was like, okay, they'll never know, you know? They'll never know if I do this. Wrong. Um, who wanted to starve you? Yeah, look at this beautiful person. Look at this shit. <laughs> this is beauty. This is also like single Somebody, you know, this is, Pat, your judgment is so off. Did you tell someone that they were beautiful and they're a fucking teenage boy? What is going on with you? It's, it's the establishment. Fate, they just put. Look at this. Didn't I just say you can't fuck with fate? The universe will move people out of the way if, they, if it's death. If it's death. The universe will move people out of the way when something is faded. Please hear me. There's nothing you can do to stop it. All you could do is try to delay it and this, that, and the other. And if you got somebody who's patient and who thrives, like in chaos especially, uh, or is their own best friend, they're not waiting or dying on it, right? This is what makes that person so powerful. It's like, I can have it right now. I cannot have it right now. Because I know once you know something's faded, you can just sit back and kind of... That's fucking people up. West... Faded to go out west, go to go. It's like you want it to go out west. The east coast seems to be real fucked up. I don't know what it's like on the west coast, but so now what? So now it's like someone made a bad judgment call, right? This is a blessing. This is a fuck. Look, a truth. Like you made a bad judgment call for someone in particular. Somebody's trying to say that you're pregnant, but this is also they'll try to send somebody to you to end, a woman to intentionally get pregnant, and now you're stuck. With that person isolate 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 i'm gonna say it again isolate isolate fucking isolate why is this so hard it's that fear of missing out you think you're gonna miss out what the fuck are you missing out on 
I mean, like this is for multiple people. What are you missing out on? Gossip, usually. For a lot of people, they have to gossip. It's an addiction. More people are addicted to gossip, in my opinion, than anything else. Because with addiction comes gossip. Like with drug addiction and alcohol addiction. Like you don't have nothing else to do. You just sit around and fucking talk about everybody but yourselves all day. You haven't changed a bit since the second grade. That's a shame. Either these are your friends who do this. Okay? I feel like these are these are the people who are doing this to you. I don't feel like this is you. I think this these are the people who are you want you like this or you want that job, we're gonna try and get you fired. You want this, we're gonna try and stop it. Eh. That's what it feels like. Like grow the fuck up. Like big babies. This is what this person will take. Alright? This is it. Like I, I want a companion. I don't want a fucking sex partner. You know what I'm saying? I want a companion. Let's find out what the definition of, of companion is. Just to... Alright. A person or animal with whom one spends a lot of time with or one whom one travels. Travel companion. What is the true meaning of companion? A company is another. Comrade, associate. One that keeps company with another. His long-time companion. I'm here for a good time. Not a long time. You know, I... Yeah, that's not what somebody wants. Or they, or they don't even... They don't need that. What's, what's a synonym? Partner. Workmate. Other half. That's what somebody wants. Is not the father. Is somebody trying to say that you're the father of their child to try to keep you stuck? Is this Liam? Hmm? Somebody trying to say that they're pregnant and it's your child? Somebody's trying to trap you, bro. Tell me who, who's the actual father to this child. Somebody got a whole ho. Um, Lieutenant Dan. No, okay. A Zach. A cop. Or is Zachary, huh? Zach? Zach Peters? Uh, or Pete Zachary? Pete Zachary, cop? Yeah, that's not a legit, but that's whose baby it is. That That's a fake badge, but that's whose baby it is. So if you didn't want to be with this female, bro, I think this is, this, I got I got two different dudes here with two different, man, it's manipulation heavy though. Wanting to keep someone stuck because you know that they either want to be with someone else. Like let's say that you, you're interested in somebody else and this chick was like, I'm just going to say I'm pregnant. You guys, I hope you guys don't still fall for this shit without, without getting, you can get a DNA test before the, the, she gives birth. It's a little more invasive, but I mean, shit, this is your life, you know? A lot of you guys are giving respect to women that don't deserve it and disrespecting the ones that do. Let me see what um, TZP is. Nothing. Maybe it's TKP. January? What happened in January? You started descending, going backwards since January. Maybe since you met this person. Auto if you use this word, you're automatically a pussy. Whoop, I'll whoop your ass. Abso you're an absolute pussy. Who's this? This person came to ruin you. And I feel like your friends are behind it. Liam, in particular. Who's the pussy? Oliver. Why is uh, why are they saying this? Uh, I guess is this person behind it? Like this person just wants to, or yeah, just wants to ruin you. Is this a friend of yours? I'm gonna cry. Maybe you just need to shake your booty. So is that what it was? Like ass. I don't. I don't think that a lot of men know what a companion is anymore. Because the, when they meet women now, the, they just throw their ass at them immediately. There's no respect. There's just that because that's what you think men want. And I mean, of course, they want that. 
But if you don't offer anything else to them, they don't know that there's anything else there. So, of course, now they think that that's all women are good for because there's chicks like this or, or other chicks that just throw that shit out there like a fucking Frisbee. So, so now you get these other ones that are more reserved and they seem boring or, you know what I mean? And it's like, cool, we'll be boring over here. Somebody else will want this boring, um, you know, non-AIDS infested fucking fire crotch, you know what I mean? Like non-fire crotch over here. And then you have someone over here where it's like you have to have your head on the swivel. They're trying to make you jealous. They're throwing fucking plates and shit at you and having them. This is what a lot of you guys actually like for some reason. And I don't know, women like me can't figure out why you like drama like this. But a lot of you guys do. This is this a dancer? Is this even a stripper? A dude? Is this a female? I don't know. I mean, but yeah, someone is pregnant. Is this a pregnant stripper? Bro, this is not. I mean, you, 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 I mean, you want to talk bottom of the barrel, G. Know your worth, bro. All right. Some thumb. Did somebody. S I don't know. I don't want to know what that is. All right. Fuck out of here. Is somebody saying that? fuck out of here you know what i mean maybe that's you maybe someone now is gonna be like yeah but and maybe this is you get the fuck out of here you know what i mean that's what i feel like this is for liam in particular <laughs> i don't feel like it means fuck out of here are you kidding me i i think you're not surprised you know it's like this is what comes with that shit strippers pregnant strippers drug addiction fucking uh getting ran through you're better than this okay um so tell me selfish slipping in the darkness this person's got you they're changing you so much i am guessing that they're putting some shit in your food because that's usually what happens black magic if your hair is falling out or you're just changing if this person could be making you um a lot of food the like, cure baby i made you this if it's red sauce they put period blood in the sauce to facilitate a spell like i can't why can't i leave this bitch i'm not attracted to her she stinks you know what i mean like like uh, it just feels like what am i doing it's very very likely that somebody is using your hair from your brush someone is they're taking hair off of a brush off the floor and shit they're taking your DNA, and this is why. How do you break the spell, you ask? You're going to have to get some bath salt. Right? Don't do what your friends do with it. Hmm? Um, take a spiritual bath. Some of you guys need to get comfortable with taking spiritual baths. You know what I mean? Some of you guys are so into portraying yourselves as men that it's becoming toxic. You know? You're becoming um, violent towards women, and, and just, you know, what men is... Let's find out. I want to see. I want to see what the definition of man. I never actually looked that up. All right. What is the official? An individual human, especially an adult male human, a man belonging to a particular category. All right. What defines being a man? There we go. Being a man means protecting your loved ones from adversity. For others, it can mean being the strongest person in the room, result of toxic masculinity, but we'll get into that later. To me, being a man means standing up for the right thing and bettering the lives of everyone around you. Right? Some of you guys, your dads were violent, and they treated women like shit, and you're supposed to break this curse. A man cries. Okay, that's what a real man does when they're upset. They show emotion. A man has empathy and sympathy and compassion. So men, you know, my dad, buddy, because he roofed, we, you know what I mean? His head legs used to hurt. He used to take baths two, three times a day sometimes. Men do that. Some of you guys need to start taking salt baths and get this black magic that most people are doing on you. Most of you have somebody around you that's doing it. And you need to listen to return to sender stuff. You need to do this stuff. Some of you guys have not taken this seriously, and there's, there's people who wound up dead because of this. It's not a joke. Black magic is real. Voodoo is real, and it will fucking affect you, especially if you drink or get high. So tell me about slipping into darkness. Pretty soon you're gonna pay. All right. You're letting these people into your space. Yeah, walk away from this shit. Walk away from what? 
I mean, this is knowing your worth, too. Somebody's royal. That's why my blood is regal. All right? That's what song they just put. I came into this world with a chip upon my shoulder. Some of you guys need to get that chip off your shoulder, right? I mean, we all have that at some point. But this chip, this, this I'm a man thing, it's keeping you from being with the person that you're supposed to be with. That Don't you want to be happy? Or do you guys want to keep fighting and making up and fighting and making up? I don't feel like you do, but you if you don't know that there's something else out there, but you have to become something different in order to have that come naturally, which means you have to you work on yourself, you know? Somebody was waiting possibly for you to walk out to your car. If so, if you walk out to your car and somebody tries talking to you or, or engaging in conversation, I'm being told that you, you, you should just avoid it. There's something behind it. This could be like, oh my God, what are you doing here? You know, like you walk into your car and shit and then all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, is that, I thought that was you. Yeah, they want to sabotage something. There's ulterior motive here for this. All right, tell me, tell me as... Some of you need to listen to that like you like that song as, okay? You need to start listening to music that feeds your soul, like Eric B, Tribe, stuff that you grew up with. Because some of you guys are being programmed with this freaking trap music that you guys are listening to. It's horrible. I don't even feel like you get anything out of it. And, you know, they're just showing me a bunch of guys that just sit there and bop their head. But some of you guys used to listen to music where you used to get up and move. Um, so who is this person that's going to try and... Um, and, and do this. It could possibly be like a cop. Don't if someone's trying to repeat. If someone's trying to it tries to like arrest you. Somebody may may wait till you leave, and then they're gonna I don't know try and pull you over. Did somebody stick something in your car intentionally? Did you have a friend in your car? I feel like somebody's gonna try and arrest you, and they planted something in your car, bro. Who did this? Is, is this is this a, a having Grace or someone named Grace did it? Somebody named Grace. Did you just have somebody in your car named Grace? That person planted something in your car. And then when you leave, you're going to get pulled over. And they're, to, they're trying to get you arrested. Or it's a fake arrest. And Oh, is that what they're doing to kidnap people now? That could be what they're doing. Where they're arresting people. They're fake arresting people. And then they're taking them to these houses. Because I've been exposing that they're taking people to clone people. If you're a chief... They kill. Oh, this was to kill you. They say kill. I'm going to show you this. Okay. But chiefs, leaders, uh, gang leaders, stuff like this. Okay. They want to clone a bunch. Of, they want to clone you guys. So this is, I guess this is how they're doing it is they're trying to arrest people and they're using, you know how dangerous this is getting? So this is why I said you, we're going to all have to stick together and be like, fuck you to the police. Like literally. You show me a badge. I don't give a shit. You haven't done your job for how many years? Look at the world we're living in. We don't take you seriously. Fuck off, right? Especially because a lot of these, most of these people are, are traffickers. They're fucking traffickers with badges. Like, there's no way am I letting you arrest me. Get out of here. What are they going to do? It's going to be the kind of thing where the people are going to flip and we're going to have to, you know, you may, it may get ugly. But are you going to just allow yourself to be arrested on some shit you didn't do? Eventually, this is going to be a thing where the people ain't going to have it anymore. And they're going to be afraid to show a badge. Parker. I don't know what that's about. Blonde hair. What's up with the blonde hair? Does somebody have a video or something? And they showed something and somebody has blonde hair. And then the person who actually they're talking about has dark hair. That's what it feels like. Like, that, that's not even their hair color, bro. You hurt my feelings. Beautiful singing voice and the border. Okay. Does somebody work at, um, at, at the border? Who works at the border? Who, who or said they did? Uh, we'll find out if they really do. <sighs> Larry Gates, Lamont Gates. Uh, they do not work at the border. Okay. Are they claiming to be a police officer? Where's your business card? Every cop has a business card. You're not, they don't ever leave home without it, ever. You need a warrant to cross the threshold, not, not, a, not an online warrant that takes 10 minutes. 
You guys are gonna have to watch videos and learn about your rights or this is gonna this is gonna fuck you guys up. There are lawyers that made videos on YouTube saying these are your rights when it comes to police officers, okay? I, I watch them. They need a warrant to cross the threshold, but they get a warrant, it's fake. You, you can see the seal, look up images of the seal that's on real warrants. All right, they're gonna try and get real crafty to do this. That's why I said it's gonna have to get to the point where if you just know that you didn't do some shit, you walk the fuck away. And you may have to shoot somebody if they try jumping you and shit like it may have to get like this. I'm being dead serious because this is what they're planning on doing, arresting people illegally. So then how do you handle this? Motherfucker, I'll kill you if you come for me. It's like, put your hands on me type of shit. Now you're a citizen with just a bad, fake badge putting your hands on me. Now it's self-defense, right? Because eventually down the line, you'll be able to prove that that person, you can call your girl here, and I'll prove that that person is a fucking trafficker. So worry about that later, right? So it's like what, what you worry about in the moment is just not getting arrested because once you're in there, they will make sure you stay in there. Uh, there'll be a fake judge behind it and everything. You you focus on making sure that your ass don't get arrested, period. And then if you need to reach out to me uh, and something happens legally, I will get all the information of who this motherfucker really is and where they're running from, all right? There is no way, no fucking way you're going to let somebody arrest you for some shit that you didn't do. I mean, like, everybody. This is what they're going to do all over the country. Peep game on this shit. It's It's scary. All right. I have the YouTube channel, Philosophical. All right, assault. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It would be assault. Thank you. All right, so that's what they're saying. You can walk away from this, right? Like, you can even drive away from shit. You can, they're, they're citizens on patrol. I keep, I want to, I want to, because I think because we, we deal with cops that have been so like, I'm above the law and motherfucker, no, you're not, right? You're supposed to enforce it. Where are you guys at? Where are you guys at? Okay, you don't want to show up? Cool, the people will do the shit, right? So when you walk away and be like, get the fuck away from me, the second they put their fucking hand on you, bro, listen to me, because they're not a cop, now you have the right to defend yourself. You understand? Okay? This is why I'm so valuable at what I do. I'm not the person that you want to attack. I'm the one that you want on your side because if this shit goes down, you guys are going to need me to find out what other names they're running as, what country that they're fucking running from. I'm going to be the one that can help you. So that, I guess this may wind up happening to somebody. I'm, it's just people. Let them put their hands on you. Record them. You will always, they hate being recorded. You know what I mean? They fucking hate it. The whole time they're trying some shit. Pull out your phone and record it. <laughs> some of you may have to say, how did this get like this? And you come in here on this shit. This here happened on your watch? Officer? Really? And then if you have um, a social media, if you have social media page, upload that shit on your social media, up your Facebook or whatever it is that you guys have. Make this shit as public as you can get. You're like a good brunch, always enjoyable, but kind of necessary. Look, I'm telling you, okay? I feel like they're talking about me. Like, I'm necessary. I know I'm necessary, but so are you. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're fucking needed. And that's why they know this shit. So they're trying to get, they're trying to take you. I think we're at the point in our relationship that we can give each other cool nicknames. Um, I, mean, I, I don't know if that's what you thought that this shit was like with this person. I think you want to be in a relationship with someone else, though. Or you just are destined for that. Yeah, look, you're going to, you leave. You can, you can leave. I feel like that's your answer. I have to go, and you can leave. This, this shit ain't what you think it is. Yeah, as soon as you... It's like, because you want to do better... This is black magic as well. This is like assaults, like um, darts, throwing darts, or, or, or judging someone else and shit like that. You know, I just feel like... Can you... I don't know if you can feel an attachment. Do you feel something on your spine? Hold on a second. This feels like electronic harassment. Stay tuned. All right, um, I don't know, so, take a stand, they're, they're saying, I, um, somebody or some people need to take a stand against something, because, okay, that's what they're saying, if people don't take a stand, you're going to fall victim to this getting arrested by traffickers and stuff, when I tell you that the ratio of legit police officers to traffickers on, in this country would make you sick, judges as well. An image? Did somebody show a wrong picture? Or, or they're painting an image of somebody. Okay, they're painting the wrong image. These are probably the people who are going to do this to you, right? So that's what they're saying. Be careful of a police officer 
that is painting an image. That's not what you do. You're supposed to be a hero. What comes along with being a police officer? Somebody who stands for justice. So you're going to sit there and badmouth or fucking talk about somebody. What are you and who are you? That don't feel like a hero, bro. Or ma'am. That don't feel like one. Uh, you feel like something else with a badge is what you feel like. So be careful of this shit. You either take a stand, is what they're saying, or you guys are going to wind up falling victim and getting arrested, for, and then you're you're done. You know what I mean? So I guess that's that's the message here. We're not going nowhere. Love you. Uh, corruption. Look. Hello. Right? So we have to take a stand, is what they're saying against this, because it's affecting all of us now. It doesn't matter what color your skin is, right? What group you hang with. It's going to affect everybody. All right. We're out of here. Love you, Philly.